Hey guys and welcome back to my channel today I am doing like a little bit of a life admin day and doing a little bit of decluttering and a little bit of organizing and sort of just like manifesting money you could say so I'm gonna be selling a few things on marketplace so I'm just really getting organized so um, if you remember the other week I had my family organization video and one of the things I did say at the end of the video was that you know your home doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to be perfect as a parent so um, you know near enough is good enough so today is one of those days near enough is a good enough to that day today my house is dirty but it's neat like most things are put away but the house is still dirty and I know that if I spend the day cleaning the house then I actually won't get anything else done unfortunately so I need to prioritize and just spend the day do, having like a life admin day and just getting stuff done okay so if you guys saw my life admin i think it was a financial year one that i did you would have seen that i actually put all my bills into a spreadsheet so basically the reason why i do this is so i create a budget for the next year so i do a yearly budget and then i base it off the bills the year before so if you're doing this sort of stuff and you have like a pay on time system like what they do with energy australia what i have been doing is i always put in before the discount rate so then if they get rid of those discounts the next year i have allowed for that and if my bills are like more the next year then it also allows for that as well the other thing that i wanted to do was organize my emails so <laughs> i know a lot of you guys probably think this girl's a pretty organized person well, uh, what we say about my emails? Let me get my phone and I'll show you. Okay, so you can see this here says 706 emails. That's on one email thing. And then I have another one, which is my Yahoo mail. That one says 938. Believe it or not, I actually just found out that you can organize your emails by having various different inboxes. How did I not know about this? So I'm actually gonna start that as well today and we'll go on to the next project. Okay, so this is all I've done. I've basically just added a um, new box here and then you just type in whatever name you want and then you just type in categories. So I've got bills, business emails, shopping and work. So I just basically, once I've set them up, I just start dragging emails in. With this amount of emails, it's going to be really hard to. I do believe though, when you start getting the emails in from these people, it will Im immediately go into these boxes, I do believe. I haven't done this before, so don't quote me on it, but we'll soon find out in the future. Okay, so the next thing to do on today's to-do list is to manifest some money. What I do do is I have a box of stuff that I put for sale, and then when it gets full, I start selling it. So what I've actually done is I've got that box, and then I've actually went through both of the cupboards again and did a final cull of, like, you know, other things I could sell, and then I am going to put them all on Marketplace. So what I have found is much easier is to sell things in bundles because then you don't have like one person after another coming to your house. So it's much easier to just do a bag for $20 than one item of clothing for like $5. So that is what I'm going to do today. So this is this morning's efforts. This here is a couple of items that I want to sell on my own. I've got a cute dress and I've also got this here, which has never really been worn. The rest of it is going rubbish and then i've got a whole donation pile over there and then i have all the cuteness that needs to get sold and then i've got this whole basket in here this was in the shed because i couldn't fit all this in the house like i did have the craft room that's where it's all come from but i want to get rid of all of it so then i can just have one empty box for all the sell stuff that i can start again and then 
when I need to sell, I can do that. So the next project is my car. So I have had a lot of stress and anxiety lately and that is why I didn't post a video the other week. I gave myself so much stress and that that I actually I feel like I made myself sick. So I was at the end of my period which I always get migraines at the end of my period so I had a three stint day of migraines and that was so bad that I actually had to go home from work and then I had to literally stay in bed for three days. It was terrible. Like there's nothing worse than being sick when you're a single parent. And then basically after that, I didn't even have a video recorded for the week. I then went to my partner's house on the weekend and I was there for about 20 minutes. And I literally had gastro like that night. It was terrible. It was embarrassing and it was just gross. On the weekend before this, I actually found a lump on my breast. So I was really stressed that it could be cancer because we've got cancer running in the family. So, you know, I was stressed about that. I was stressed about, you know, borrowing my parents' car and knowing that I had a deadline to give that back to them. I don't know. I've just had some really bad luck. If you knew what happened, it's, it's just been a really bad luck week. So yeah, I just feel like I made myself sick with stress and anxiety. So I really need to start looking after myself. So that is another reason why I have just wanted to take five today and just said, you know what, no cleaning. I'm just gonna organize the stuff that has just been at the back of my mind for how long and just get this, get the ball moving so then I can move forward. So we'll go out and I'll show you the car and we're gonna go and give it a clean out because I have a new car coming, yay! Okay, so this is the vehicle. It's a beautiful 1993 Nissan Bluebird. Yes, 93, you heard it. It is featuring a love dint right there. And don't forget the rustic charm. And also this beautiful sculptured artwork. And don't forget the special breathing holes. Yes, from someone who used to smoke in here. And this beautiful carpet. Mm, nice features in this car, right, isn't it? But Momo seems to like it, don't you, darling? Yes. But in all seriousness, this car was actually one of the luxury models in its time. Believe it or not, it's actually got power steering, power windows, and it even has cruise control, believe it or not. But it has just caused me a lot of grief. I've had to spend a lot of money because it keeps re overheating. And it, this car's like worth a thousand bucks. So, you know, maybe I might keep it and put some club rego on it one day. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, today's plan is just to give this thing a really good clean out. And I'm probably just going to put it on marketplace. I can't believe it's actually marked. It's left dints in it. It's a bit of a shame because I don't know whether I want to put it in my new car now. Like, if that's how it's going to come out. Hmm. I've never actually taken them off before, so yeah, not good. Not good at all. the sky in the 
Okay, so the next thing I want to do before I head out was I want to sort out this Barbie box here. So I bought one of these. This is the eight compartment organizer from uh, Kmart, yes. <laughs> and it's actually pretty, quite pretty deep as well. So I was actually thinking, well, I bought it for, to organize all of her Barbie's parts because we get lots of stuff all around the floor because she tips the whole box out trying to find things and she gets quite frustrated. So I thought if I grab a box, she can open it and they're all sorted into categories. So when it comes to kids' toys, obviously you don't want to micro-organize things too much because kids don't really put things back. You know, you've got to make it easy because Kids, you just want kids to put things away. You, if you're making it too difficult, it's too difficult for them and they won't want to put things away. So that is just my opinion. When I see people, you know, organize their Lego in colors, I just wonder if they're the ones putting it away or the kids are. And I feel like that that is just micro organizing it too much. But anyway, that's just my feelings on it. <laughs> I don't know. I see how it works, but I'm sure if there's kids out there passionate enough, they and the older kids are doing it, they might do it. But anyway, so let's go and start this process. Hey, I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. But just because it's easy. But that don't make it better. So this is what it's all looking like. I have accessories, shoes, clothes, food, and then I have her little dollies up the top there because I didn't really need all this for Barbies. I hope that this helps, you know, her so she's not digging through all these to get to all that sort of stuff. She has been really liking, you know, taking the clothes off and shoes off and experimenting. And she also loves these dolls as well. So that is one area done. And then I've just organized it by putting dolls in one and then I've just put in all the furniture in the other one. So guys, thank you all for watching the video. I hope you've all enjoyed today's video and it sort of motivated you to get those other things done. Even if you have to push back some of the housework for the day, just get those lingering things done that you know they're always in the back of your mind. Sometimes it's just good to get those things done because, you know, the housework's going to be there the next day. As I always say, like, do your dishes, do your washing, keep on top of that thing because those are just going to keep piling up. But when it comes to sweeping the floor, making the bed, they're things that you're just going to be able to have to do the next day. So if you put it off for one day, it's not going to hurt. So you can get these little things that were lingering on the back of your mind done. And that's just one stress off the off your plate basically so thank you all for watching i hope you've all enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss another video i do have an instagram page which i'm hoping to become a bit more active on you'll see me about here and there testing my boundaries and testing out things so yeah i do have an instagram page and a facebook page where you can catch me on throughout the week and i will catch up with you next week for a new video we'll see you then bye